Hey everyone, Kid Coach Jake here, back with more tips and tricks to help decrease your frustrations and stress and help increase your earnings. Now, the thing I want to talk about today, a lot of people ask me questions about stacked offers and reassigning. Now, I want to show you how to reassign an offer in a stacked offer situation. Now, some of you are asking, why? Why would I want to do that, right? Now, I'm going to show you several different circumstances and incidents where it'll be beneficial for you to unassign or reassign one of those offers and how to do that. And if you get in a situation where maybe you just have one offer, right? And you need to reassign that offer. So for those that are brand new and aren't familiar with it at all, yes, if you have stacked offers, you can go and reassign and pick which one you want to reassign. So if you get one that's a zero tip offer, guess what you want to do? Reassign that bad boy, right? So check this out. Let me show you exactly how you're going to do that. Here's a stacked offer I just got last night. Now this one in particular is unique because it actually had zero tip in one of the two stacked offers. But as you can see here in this screenshot, it showed it actually said cash tip. So we all know they don't always give you a cash tip when they put that there in the notes. But since it was stacked offer, I went ahead and took the chance, right? She ended up tipping me $5 cash on top of this offer. So pretty sweet, awesome turnout here. Now here's a different stacked offer. This one makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. They're going in opposite directions. This was again yesterday, rush hour traffic. That other customer in Scottsdale would have had to wait about 40 minutes to get their offer. Now this offer right here is one I got on Valentine's. Really good one. I did need to go in and check, but I could have switch and unassign one of these but they both were about even paying so i didn't need to undersign or reassign either one of those here's another great one that i also got on valentine's day but it made sense it was right on the way to drop off the other one so no reason to to reassign anything on that one here's another one that made no sense whatsoever going different directions i'd have to make that other customer wait at least 20 minutes before they're going to get their food because I want to add more money to my earnings. Now here's a stacked offer where I actually reassigned one of them. I'm showing you how to do that in just a second. But looking here in the screen, you can see they're going in opposite directions. And when I went to check the tip of the payout, they're about an even split. So obviously I'm gonna take the one that's closer to home. So here, you're gonna click on the merchant at the top. In this screen at the very bottom, there's a problem, click on there. I can't deliver this order in the middle. Then it's gonna pull up the different ones. If you have multiple, it's gonna show all of them pick the one that you want. So if it's one that's a zero tip, that's a no brainer, right? You know which one. You're gonna select on that name, then you're going to click whatever reason you want, right? So for me, I'm gonna put on there, distance is too far. If it's a no tip, you wanna put tip or too low, right? Reject the offer, then you go into the screen, you'll see, now you just have whatever orders that are left that you want. And you can even go in and reassign this one if you really wanted to for whatever reason. So say that you just want to check it out, you're curious, I don't know. Now I know some of you are familiar with this already. Thanks for watching. Those that weren't, I hope this helps out a great deal and gives some insight on what you can and can't do in situations like this going forward. Anyhow, thanks for watching my video. Have a great day, night. Be safe out there on the roads. A lot of crazy people, right? Have fun. Work hard, but work smarter.